Greetings, church. It's uh, Kevin DeClaurent. Today is Tuesday, the uh, the 25th of uh, February, 2020. Um, and uh, I am checking the computer here to make sure that the volume is on. And uh, I'm outside of the Portland Public Library right now. Uh, that's 10th Avenue behind me. Um, that's the, this is the library property. I want to show you real quick here. Uh, Goodwill is behind me and so is Virginia Cafe. And uh, that's the new parking uh, elevator over there. And this is the um, public library. Um, just wanted to give you an update. I have a video um, before this one uh, that uh, basically I haven't <laughs> uploaded it yet, but I'm going to upload it today with this, um, with this one right here. Um, I did some preaching earlier today um, out of Second Corinthians. Um, out of Second Corinthians. Uh, Hold on a second here. Let me find it. A passage of scripture. Um, I'm also trying to eat lunch and uh, do a little bit of catch up here. No, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Um, Second Corinthians six. Second Corinthians six. That says uh, from verse 14 to verse 18. It says, "Do not be unequally yoked um, together with unbelievers." It says, uh, for what fellowship has righteousness with lawlessness, um, and what communion has light with darkness? Uh, what accord has Christ with Belial, or what uh, part has a believer with an unbeliever? Um, and what agreement has the temple of God with idols? For you are the temple of the living God, as God has said, I will dwell in them and walk among them. I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Therefore, come out from among them and be separate. Um, says the Lord do not touch what is unclean and I will receive you I will be a father to you and you shall be um, my sons and daughters says the Lord Almighty uh, so that was the message earlier today a um, couple things before I start uh, updating you on what's going on uh, I was able to pay Holy Fire Publishing did finally send me an email through Duclaron KED at hotmail.com that's the new uh, uh, email address Duclaron D-U-C-L-A-I-R-O-N K-E-D in lowercase at hotmail.com uh, Kevin Luke O2 at hotmail.com is still open but the inbox is closed and I can't receive any more emails um, so now it's the new one that I just gave you twice Duclaron K-E-D at hotmail.com so if you want to email me you have to email me at that uh, address the other one I will not receive it unless it ends up in the delete uh, box and I don't think that's where you want it so um, my social worker, Shannon, was able to uh, allow me to use her phone number because I don't have a telephone, and that was what gave me the code and the access. So I thank God uh, that she was able to help me. Um, I've been getting a lot of hits. You know me with Gabriel and John McCarthy. We're, we're clocking. We're, 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 how do you say this? We're not. We're, it's conflicting uh, through the community. It's not direct, it's indirect. Um, they're still coming in and out of the tent at night, uh, sexually assaulting. Um, I want to get a repossessed house, uh, maybe a little bit of property I've been using for the last four years. I've been putting away the money that I should be using for housing from the SSDI disability. I, I, I'm trying to get a used, um, used mobile home uh, so I can settle down rather than getting uh, a trailer like I did. And, you know, the trailer basically screwed me up and I ended up having to remove it off of the property. And when I did, um, I lost a trailer. And so now it's like, okay, Lord, I need a, uh, I don't know, I, I need some yardage, you know, to put a trailer on. Not a trailer, but a, a mobile home on. Uh, so I need to buy both. So this is going to cost me some, some moolah, uh, which I don't have. And, of course, I need a, a temporary job so I can make the payments or whatever it is that I need to get done. So that's housing. Um, and so on and so forth last night. So that's like if there was going to be announcements. That's what I would announce. I didn't tell them that. But I'm telling you that. So you know what my housing situation is. So I'm still in the, um, I'm still in the, um, uh, in the tent. I get, I get hit every night. Sexual assaults, piercing, my thighs, my feet, my toes, my wrist. I wake up and it's, it's, uh, it's all pain, 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 pain. And, and I hate it. I go to the police department and they basically said, I think the last officer I spoke to besides the one this morning, this morning I spoke to Simmons and filed a report with him. The one before that was Roe, uh, and he tells me I'm hallucinating, I'm crazy, and he won't take any police reports. And um, so 
he reminds me of the Roe versus Wade controversy, the, the court case, uh, the court case in African American history. Uh, anyway, um, I couldn't do anything about it, so um, I reported it to the police. But anyway, this morning, about four in the morning, after they came into the uh, into the into this um, into the tent twice, um, they sexually assaulted me twice. They um, they sent an African American. Uh, I, I'm not exactly sure if he really had issues or if he was just wrangling. Um, he wanted me to help. I told him I couldn't, um, and uh, it became threatening, you know, and threatened that he was going to destroy the tent. You know, the tent has already been hit several times. They cut the cord. They uh, punctured holes uh, on, on the top of it. Um, they cut the zipper. You know, when you have a zipper and there's a little hole there where you can put your hook in, they cut that off. So little by little by little, you know, um, they're they're you know they're putting holes in the in the in the in the, in the pouch, and the uh, where where you put the pole in. Um, so little by little, they're destroying the tent. You know, they'll they'll give me money and then they'll go to work on destroying my property. Um, and so it's like they pay me first and then they destroy everything. You know, they pay me first or they you know that's that's the mindset um, that I'm dealing with here in Portland. Uh, anyway, after. I, they, they, they also cornered me at Blanche. Um, they had Channel 8, the KGW, uh, KWG8. Um, they came out at Blanche, and I had to raise my voice uh, and be an ass because they were trying to put me in. You know, they weren't doing it directly, but it was obvious that it was, it was coming from Gabriel, a.k.a. Elizabeth, the, the Queen of England. Okay, that's, I'm, that, I'm supposed to read all of this. This isn't all direct. This is all indirect. Anyway, um, that led me to um, that led me to Pioneer Square Park, where I I began with um, I began with this I uh, need for cash because to redeem the whole situation, I was going to do it with, with water, uh, with with coffee, right? With coffee, if they gave me a buck, and they did. Eventually, they gave me. Um, <laughs> eventually, they did come out while I was preaching. I had preached from nine eight, from nine uh, let's see about nine thirty to about. <laughs> Actually, 8:30 to about 9:45 in the morning. Um, they did give me, they gave me a one. A gentleman gave me a one, and then uh, another gentleman came and gave me a 20, and then another, and then a woman, an African American wearing orange, gave me a five. So a 26. And um, I figured, well, anytime they give me money, it's because they're going to destroy my property, or they're going to sexually assault me even worse. So. You know, I read two passages of scripture to them. The first passage I read came from 1 Corinthians. Um, I'm going to read it for you real quick here. Uh, it came from 1 Corinthians. The book says in 1 in, uh, Corinthians 9, I think it says in... Uh, it says here, even so the Lord has... 1 uh, Corinthians 9, 14, even so the Lord has commanded that those who preach the gospel should live from the gospel. Um, and so I considered it, so when I took the money, that's what I was considering it as uh, God's gift to me for the preaching of the gospel. Uh, in, Corinthians, in 2 Corinthians 9, verse, uh, let's see here, it says here, um, so in verse 7, 2 Corinthians 9, so let each one give as he purposes in his heart, not grudgingly or, necess or, ne um, or of necessity, for God loves a cheerful giver. So that was the two passages that I read and explained to them that I will receive it in that spirit and no other because of everything that is uh, going on. I don't want to take money and then, um, you know, become uh, Portland's whore and prostitute as a result of it. Um, it's bad enough that they're calling me into the stores to do that for them, uh, even though I'm under God's grace, yet, and I know I'm not condemned according to First uh, Romans, uh, 8 1 right there's no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus so even so I don't want to um, you know I don't want to take the money that way so anyway the question that I, I, I came up I started pre talking to them about um, the gospel I asked them this question here okay uh, started talking to them about God's big plan versus the British Empire's plan for world domination um, basically God's uh, big plan for uh, for, for you know God's plan of atonement and redemption for sin versus the British Empire's big plan uh, for man to submit uh, for submission uh, for each nation to submit to the Queen and for each nation to submit to them um, through the back door uh, rather than 
um, acknowledging God as the way, the truth, and the life. So I began by by um, by using this here, which led me to um, to ex to explain that the the big plan of God is this gospel here, the gospel of reconciliation. See, God is asking all men to be reconciled to Him. Um, the the reconciling gospel uh, basically continues our, when you receive the gospel. The gospel um, God gives you His eternal Spirit, which leads you beyond. Um, which, le which, which leads you beyond this life. Um, the fulfillment of God's word here, um, the obituary basically says that Genesis 2.17 fulfills that we shall surely die. Well, when you receive the, the gospel of reconciliation, it takes you beyond, um, it takes you beyond second, it takes you beyond the death. You know, the buck doesn't have to stop here with us. It continue into eternity when you receive the gospel of God. But if you don't receive the gospel of reconciliation, then it basically you end up downward going into the place of torment and condemnation which is hell itself uh, so God's big plan is the reconciling gospel um, it stops you from going to it stops you from going to hell but it, it helps you to continue beyond this life after this here it doesn't have to be the buck stops here um, then um, I explained to them that this is the reason why um, I don't want Gabriel to come into the apartment Right. Um, however, on the other side of that is um, is 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 this is this gospel, right? The fact that they're coming in and out of the apartment, asking, um, you know, the British Empire's plans, which is to take over individual people's lives um, and having them to submit, uh, having them to yield. And when they don't yield, it's you know, it's 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 the constant hits. You know, it's the piercing of the wrist, it's the piercing under the feet. And MacArthur's along that line in that same mindset. So this is why I have this. Um, outside of my tent and what I did it was I took a black marker and I wrote it actually on the tent it's a seven seven and a half by nine and a half ten it's supposed to be eight by ten but the company kind of uh, told a little white lie and say it was eight by ten but really it was seven and a half by nine and a half because I measured it um, and so you know I, I wrote it outside of the tent you know um, the New Testament Church also known as the Church of Seattle and um, Kevin Ernst Duclaron, I put on there, uh, I'm a preacher, an author, and a pastor, right? Um, I also put no Satan um, allowed here, uh, welcome here, uh, no Antichrist uh, welcome here. And, on, and with the word Satan, I also wrote uh, this right here, what you see here. No, no, um, no LGBTQ, no Gabriel Franklin, no uh, KKK welcome here. Why? Because, and no police, because Roe stood against me, the officer. And so and I didn't write that to discriminate, but to explain to them that you can't come into a tent that is preaching the gospel of reconciliation when you are submitting to a queen or you are submitting to those people. Um, that's my, my third time seeing this guy today. He was preaching against me while I was preaching to the public. <laughs> so anyway, um, so you know that's that, that's the other side of the gospel of reconciliation to God is uh, the monarchy standing against us through the back door. They can't do it through the front door because we're under the federal government that had declared independence. And I asked the public, if we've declared independence from these people, why does it feel like there's a, you know, there's a footsie ditzy relationship with those people, with parliament and with, um, with the Queen of England um, under the table, you know, in the back, through the back. That's not right. You know, the American people and uh, foreigners who come here shouldn't have to uh, succumb to that or submit to that because of the laws that we've given been given you know once we've written that the um the 13th amendment it, it abolishes slavery where's the abolishment of slavery why are we still s succumbing to this woman's uh commands or demands or to the community that's here representing her anyway uh which leads me to this question here and this is where um i i i, I went back to second corinthians and read that passage in chapter six uh and the question that i asked here is um, if if Portland police will not do their job, and that is uh, Officer Rowe, uh, and, and take police reports and take it seriously and do investigation instead of calling us and saying that we're hallucinating, who is giving back these hateful hits, right? You see here what I've written, right, at the top. And who is giving back these hateful hits uh, on behalf of the persecuted church? The hateful hits I wrote at the bottom there is the trespassing, the raping, the sabotaging, the stealing, the killing, the bombing, the piercing, the cuts, the exclusion, unemployment, homelessness, uh, stolen, destruction of property, and yada, yada, yada. So if, if this is, if, 
if, if, if when the queen comes and says, you need to submit to the women that look like me, and we don't submit, and they're pers persecuting the church through the back and saying, you need to submit to homosexuality, and if you don't submit to that, then we're going to hit you with this, and we're going to keep you homeless, and we're going to keep you unemployed, and you didn't submit, and blah, 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 whereas God, uh, God's gospel, right? So the, the queen side of the story is, and, and not just the queen, but the U.S. government, right? I mean, we're supposed to be under, protected by the 14th Amendment. And I've been harping on this for 20 years. So this is God's side of the story, the, the gospel of reconciliation. And this is their side of the story, which is um, the satanic, uh, you know, this is another way of saying it, right? God's big plan versus what? The British's big, big plan, right? For world domination, only one can, can submit, right? So this is pretty much, in summary, what I've had to say earlier today to the American people. Um, apart from that, let's see here real quickly. I am um, the sexual immorality series is on. Okay, I'm doing that. So there's a book, and at the end of the, uh, hopefully at the end of the year, I'll be able to, um, I'll be able to, um, I'll be able to uh, submit it to the Library of Congress if I stay faithful in preaching the gospel. I'm really tempted to go back to work, to secular work, because I really went out of the situation. The ministry didn't become successful. It became painful, and it became insulting. And uh, it just became boring, you know? I mean, God is not boring, but it's like, man, I've been doing this for so long. Why are these people still resisting? Because of the monarchy who does not want to release um, Gabriel and, um, and, and the government and the gay community and all the people that stand against. Anyway, uh, this, is, this is the cover for uh, Declaron's leadership. Uh, I haven't really worked on it. Here's the back, okay? I haven't really done much um, on it, but right now, um, so, so along with it, the sexual morality is the eternal life, um, the eternal life work um, that I'm doing, uh, the series on that, and um, that's pretty much it. I don't think there's any more to be said. Um, keep me in your prayers and pray that God will continue to bless this ministry and uh, remove me out of this bad situation. In Jesus' name, all right, and I'll keep you in my prayer, church.